Gunpowder? They've completely blindsided us. It appears that everything else they've done today was to serve as a decoy, even making the tanks go haywire. Right. It looks like their real target was the railway guns all along. Which means they must be serious about targeting that trade conference in Crossbell City. They wouldn't! Can they possibly sink? So, they're intent on taking the Chancellor's head after all. Resorting to such wanton violence? This is absolutely outrageous. <sighs> Please, let us help. We don't know if reinforcements are on the way, and it doesn't look like we have much time left. We have to stop them before they can activate the railway guns. Green's right. I don't know how much we can really do, but considering the alternative, we have to try. Right. I'm not about to let those terrorists have their way. Looks like any attempt to convince you otherwise would fall on deaf ears. All right. Green, you and the rest of Group A are with me. Group B, you'll be under the command of Major Nightheart. One group will secure the gun at the right wing. The other group will secure the left. This is an actual combat situation with real lives at stake. I expect the best from each of you. Yes, sir. All right, Class 7. Our objective is to stop the activation of the railway guns. We've learned a lot at the Academy. It's time to put that knowledge to the test. Understood! Hear 
they come. <gasps> they look just like that thing we fought during our field study. Mechanical monstrosities. Save the talking for later. We need to take these things out. Got it! Bring it on! Leave it to me! Didn't see that coming! Now! Go! Right! Same as the one we fought outside the ground. It seems a large number of them are on the loose inside the fortress. I'm guessing that's what got the soldiers we just saw, too. It seems so. So these are archaisms. Are you certain, Instructor? Yeah, they're a kind of autonomous weapon made by a rather unsavory group. And a real pain to deal with, too. We need to hurry, but keep your wits about you. All right. Right.
Where are we? This must be Borrelia Canyon. You can see Crossbell State on the other side. There! Those are... The railway guns. They're enormous. Damn. How did they manage to get them prepped so fast? Don't tell me they're just gonna let them rip without even setting a target. Instructor! Well, they're certainly not shy about bringing out the big guns. Ugh, we don't have time for this. We need to take these things out fast. Right there with you. Let's send these greetings to the scrap heap. Enemy sighted! Take them out! Yeah! I'll handle this. Huh. My turn. All right, let's do this. Right, Leave very it to well. Me. Leave it to me. Very well. Now is our chance. Don't let it pass. Leave it to me. It's my turn. Leave it to me. Very well.
My turn. Self-destruct mechanism. Does the cowardice know no bounds? We're running out of time. I'm gonna go on ahead. Follow me as soon as you're sure it's safe to...
the Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This train is bound for Bereahard via Keldic. The next stop is Trista. Trista. We will be stopped at Trista for one minute. When disembarking, please ensure no belongings are left behind. Almost there. Man, spring's really in full bloom here, huh? Back home, there was still so much snow on the ground, I hardly even realized it. Those Lino flowers? I've never seen so many all blossoming at once. I'll be spending the next two years here. Wonder how long it'll be before I think of it as home. But yeah, I think I'm going to like it. Uh -huh. Ouch! Whoa, sorry about that. Are you okay? I should have picked a better place to take in the scenery. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I should have been paying more attention to where I was going instead of gawking at the flowers. It's really a pretty town though, isn't it? Just like a postcard. Yeah, I guess that's the magic of springtime for you. I hope everything in your case is okay. Oh, don't worry about that. It'll be fine. Hey, you've got the red uniform too, huh? Yeah, but now that you mention it, almost everyone else on the train had a green jacket. You're one of the few I've seen in red. I didn't really think about it until now. I just put on the uniform they sent me. I hadn't given it much thought until I got here either. But yeah, like you said, there have been a few others sporting them too, so I doubt it's a mistake. Maybe it means we'll end up being classmates. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I should get going. I've got a feeling we'll see each other again at the entrance ceremony, though. I totally forgot to ask her name. Oh well, I'm sure we'll run into each other later. She's right, though. It is weird that there are so few of us in red. Are there even enough to make a class? That orbman they sent with the uniform is pretty strange, too. It sure looks a lot fancier than your standard issue ornament, that's for sure. Eh, guess there's no point in racking my brain over it. Someone will probably explain it during orientation. Thor's military academy is on the north side of town. I've still got some time to look around before the entrance ceremony, but it'd be pretty awkward to be late the first day. <laughs> 